Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to set up proxy files inside of Adobe After Effects so let's get started. Alright so here we are in After Effects and I'm using After Effects CC 2017 and I've got a clip here you can see clip 01 and the file size is 231 megabytes it's only a couple of seconds long it's about 10 seconds long and I shot this with a Blackmagic uh, 4k production camera this is a normal HD clip though, but you can see it's pretty big for 10 seconds. And uh, then I'm going to drag this into a new composition. And this is the shot. And if you scrub through this, you can see it's kind of slow. And sometimes you just want to kind of speed things up when you're working in After Effects. Maybe just doing some color grading or maybe adding some uh, lower thirds or something. And you don't want your comp to be super slow. So with this method, we're basically going to create a proxy file for this MOV file and then you can do all your work and then once you do your render at the end you can just uh, switch back to the original high quality file so really simple to do that here in the project section I'm going to right click on this clip01.mov right click and then I'm going to go to create proxy and we want to create a movie file okay and then this is going to open the render queue here at the bottom and I'm going to click on this custom quick time and this is where you can set your proxy codecs and all of those things so I'm going to go with quick time and I'm going to click on this format options and then here by video codec this is where you can set your codec so I'm going to set mine to H.264 and then I'm going to drop the quality to around 50 percent something like that and then I'm going to click on OK and then the audio settings here at the bottom, I'm going to set this to audio off. So I don't want any audio on my proxy file. You can go ahead and resize it as well, but I'm going to leave it as default. And uh, then I'm going to click on OK. And then you want to set your output file name or the output path. So I'm going to click here. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to save it on my desktop. So then you can give it a name. I'm just going to add underscore proxy at the end of the file name and then click on save uh, yes I've got a file there already with the same name so I'm just going to replace that and then we're going to click on render okay let that run through okay so the render is done you can remove this uh, clip from your render queue and now if we go back into our composition you can see if I scrub through here it's a lot faster but you can also see the quality is not great and uh, then if you look in your project panel you can see a little square next to that clip and that means that we're using the proxy file so let me show you if i zoom in here 200 percent and uh, you can see the quality isn't that great i can scrub through and i can play back and uh, it's playing back nice and smooth nice and fast and now you can simply go and you can just click this little square box next to this clip and then it will basically switch back to the original high quality file so if i play this back you can see that the quality is nice and if we tick this box we're going to switch to the proxy file and uh, then everything is nice and quick you can do your work and then once you do your render just make sure that you untick or unclick this little square and you're going to switch back to your original high quality file so this is good when you're working let's say on a network share and um, things slow down a bit when you're working in your project in after effects and you just want to create some light proxy files to speed things up and that's how easy it is to set up proxy files inside of adobe after effects i hope you guys enjoyed this one click on that thumbs up if you did and also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new tutorials i upload new visual effects and motion graphics tutorials on a weekly basis so yeah click on the subscribe button it also helps me a lot so it's a bit of a win-win situation thanks for watching see you guys next time cheers bye